and uh, <laughs> to uh, sit back because uh, I want to really uh, moving away from the front uh, a battlefront because uh, I want literally want the the generals to make their own commands. I don't, I don't want to be there because you know especially in Chinese culture when you're there, they respect the elders. Yeah. So I don't want them to respect the elders. Okay. I have to move away. Right. In a way, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I'm in a room, they mm -hmm. they cannot just say, you know, ignore you or like you know the Japanese Chinese saying, hey, you know, hey, right. what do you think? Right. And uh, can I just say I don't think of anything, right? I, I don't have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Know, and that's that's great. You know, you want to be the dumbest person in the room, and you you want you don't want them to agree with everything that you say, correct, or, or, or anything like that, because we're not progressing. Like we're not no. we're not thinking critically no. if everybody's just nodding. Yeah, I agree. And uh, secondly, we uh, we desperately uh, need the international community. Mm -hmm. Because who invented uh, the internet? Who invented uh, most of the programming languages? And who invented most of the operating systems? Right. Who created? Who contributed most of the open source code? We should thank. Even though you know, I grew up in China. Mm -hmm. uh, we I led a team eighteen years, and people should know our uh, hardship and uh, our endeavors. But on the other hand. Uh, this is an international project. We uh, we are very very thankful to the one my professors, the one cohort everywhere you know who educated me and taught me right. And uh, it's a new internet all over again. It's for the world. Absolutely. Yeah, that's my true passion. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and I can't I can't thank you enough for that vision, right? Because a lot of people in this space, you know, they don't think that way. They, they think that, you know, this is a, a GLD ecosystem, it's for our in, in, investors. And in reality, you have to ask yourself, what even is an investor? The people that brought, that bought your, your, your currency? Or, or, you know, but, it, you know, that's, and, and again, this, I know that this doesn't necessarily reflect anyone else's opinion, this is my own opinion. There's a such thing as stupid money. And, you know, there's a lot of it in this space. And, and I think that whenever you're, you know, you're countering that to your community, to your contributors with genuine thought like that, I think that it's a great thing. Um, and it's something that's sorely absent in this space. Uh, that is, you know, cryptocurrency and these things like that. Well, normally I don't comment on, you know, the, the valuation of uh, ELA. Right. But on the other hand, uh, you know, first of all, we started by doing as it's a, I didn't really have that uh, passion 10, 20 years ago because all I thought was uh, 20 years ago when I left Microsoft, you know, 18 years was oh, I can build a C version of .NET. That was the only thing, right? Because uh, I could build, do a, might uh, be able to do a C version of .NET and Microsoft didn't want to do that. They want to do a C sharp version. Yeah. And uh, that's why I left. Uh, first of all, uh, as I said, it's uh, out of uh, uh, young wrestlers were you know, uh, uh, trying to prove uh, uh, nothing, basically. Right. Uh, trying to show off, in a way. Uh, right. But then, throughout the 18 years, one thing seemed to lead to another. We, ha uh, we are at the brink of inventing a new internet. Mm -hmm. So just when this enlightenment uh, is here, right? Well, I cannot uh, move away saying, you know, uh, um, when it's an opportunity come, we just have to be there. We just right. have to uh, lead a team and uh, start this uh, journey. Mm -hmm. But then that's not what I'm saying is uh, I don't want to reward my family. I don't want to reward myself. I don't want to reward my followers, right? right? That's not what I'm saying. If Let's say Netscape. Let's say it's just a, a Nasdaq company. Mm -hmm. Anything you evaluate it, you value it. I mean, if you are building a network, you have, you will be the the uh, gold standard of this new society we're building. Yeah. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So I don't really want to put it value value because, uh, but then on the other hand, how do you value the gold standard of the cyber republic? Yeah. I truly believe the team, right? You guys could build 
Because as I said, I'm moving back to the second line and the third line behind. But I do believe the battlefront, we're moving forward. I'm scheduled. We are conquering, right? Yeah. Meet the schedule, we build the internet. Like, you know, I, I don't want to use that word because something to it. I see, I come, I conquer. That's just too bad. I don't want to be the person I die. No, I'm not that guy. Right. But then on the other hand, right, and uh, we saw the opportunity, we are here. And you guys are conquered. Alastos is the modern internet. Alastos has rebuilt the infrastructure of the internet from the ground up, creating the world's first open source network operating system. This is an operating system for the internet itself that is completely decentralized and that can be installed directly into anything and everything smart. Every person, every device, every business, everything can be directly interconnected into one massive global supercomputer, each given their own secure identity that must be verified by the blockchain before accessing the network, enabling an internet of security instead of vulnerability. An internet where central servers no longer exist. An internet where everyone owns and controls their own data. Simultaneously creating the world's first platform for the secure internet and data economy. <laughs>